Hey y'all, Vampire Dracul back again with another Kali Linux video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to increase the virtual hard disk, uh, the VDI, the basically the, the virtual disk that you're uh, configured when you first set up Kali Linux in VirtualBox. So uh, say you set it for 20 gigabytes and you realize that that's just not enough and you want to bump it up to 40 gigabytes. Well, today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you actually want to check the space on your uh, current VM, this is the command DF dash H. And as you can see right here, this is basically the main hard drive, the dev slash SDA one. You can see it's 81% used. It's only has basically 20 gigabytes was configured for it and it's using 15. So I'm going to increase this to 40 gigabytes. So the first thing you want to do is shut down the VM. So we'll turn that off. Okay. So what you want to do is inside VirtualBox manager, go up to file and you want to go down to virtual media manager. In there, find the name of the virtual machine that you want to increase the hard drive for and click it. Now, in this instance, before, I already made the change here, but it'll usually say like 20 gigabytes or whatever it was at initially. So you just basically select the VDI that you want to increase. You come down here, you type 40, and you would click apply and close. That would then bump up the virtual size of the hard drive. Uh, for you there. Uh, the next step will be to actually, we have to use a program called Gparted. Link to the download will be in the description below because we need to resize the partitions on the VDI in order for this extra space to be seen by the operating system. So we'll right click the virtual machine we want to work on. We'll go to settings, go down to storage, and on your virtual CD ROM, we want to select. Uh, the G parted live, um, just go find wherever you downloaded that ISO and make sure it is put into the virtual CD ROM. So we'll go ahead and close that. And then we will launch the virtual machine again, which will drop us into the G parted application here. So, um, it's basically you want to use the default settings. So we'll just hit enter on that and it will continue to load G parted and then we'll be able to expand the storage or basically the partitions is what we're doing. We're going to stretch it out a little bit here. Takes a little bit to load up here. All right. You want to select don't touch key map. And then in the language, we want to select uh, English or your preferred language of choice. And then we want to continue to start X to use GP parted automatically. So we want to hit zero for that. And that will load up the application here. Should automatically launch the G parted app and then scan for the hard drives. Okay, so now we are in here. What is this mess? So we have this is the main hard drive space. This is your extended and or swap area. And this is the unoculated space that we need to put into our main hard drive here for you guys. So uh, first thing we want to do is extend the um, we want to basically extend this so we want to right click the extended part resize and move and we want to drag this all the way over to the right and then it's important that we put um a line to we'll just put none on this it sometimes has issues if it's on mib or cylinder um, i've had good luck doing this a lot of times with a line two on none. So that's very important there. We'll click resize, remove. Now, nothing's actually happened. It's just queuing up commands for us that will eventually process once we click apply. We're not going to click apply quite yet. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get this uh, swap space out of the way so we can have the unaccolated space next to the dev SDA one. So you want to right click the swap space, resize and move. Same thing. Make sure line two is at none 
And then instead of dragging this uh, arrow all the way to the right, we want to actually get in the middle of it and drag the whole thing all the way over to the right. You then click resize move, blah, blah, blah. We don't really care about that. So now the swap is at the complete opposite end of where we need it to be. So then we got to go back into extended and we got to basically reduce the size back, uh, back to where it was on the extended. So right click extended, go to resize move, and then drag this arrow on the left side all the way to the right. Again, align to none and click resize move. Now you can see the unaccolated space is actually right next to the dev SDA one. So now we should be able to go over here, right click uh, the SDA one, click resize and move. And then we should be able to, yep, drag this all the way over to the right. Make sure align two is on none as well and click resize remove. And there we go. We now have basically the 40 gigabytes allowed there. Now, when you do it this way, there's going to be a one megabyte um, unaccolated space on there. Don't worry about that. It's okay. It's just one meg. I think it's to help align the partitions together next to each other. So uh, once we do uh, all these steps, uh, come up here to the green, apply all operations. Are you sure you want to apply? And I will click yes, and it will do its magic. Um, in this instance, it's actually pretty quick. It doesn't take too long. You're increasing the size of something larger. It might take a little bit longer, but as you can see, we are already done here. So we now have 40 gigabytes on that. We can go ahead and power off this machine. Okay, once you're back into the VirtualBox Manager, uh, don't forget that we need to remove the disk. So right click on the virtual machine, go to settings, go down to storage, go down to your virtual CD-ROM drive and click the little disk up here and then remove disk from virtual drive. Make sure that says empty and click OK. And then you can start the virtual machine at this point. And we want to launch Kali here. Okay, once the virtual machine has loaded, uh, log in to the VM. Once you're logged back in, we're going to run that same command we did at the beginning of the video to confirm our hard drive has actually been increased. So DF-H. And as you can see here, it is now showing 40% use. And the size is basically 40 gigabytes. So that's how you increase the VDI or your virtual hard disk for Kali Linux using VirtualBox. If you found value in this video and it helped you out, I would really appreciate your subscription to the channel. It helps us grow here and get this information out to more people. If you liked the video, definitely smash that like button. And uh, if this worked out for you, uh, let me know in the comment section below if this was helpful for you. All right, well, until next time, keep it real.